This diagram, which looks like some old school Yu-Gi-Oh type relic, shows a skirt of area X inscribed inside a semicircle, and there is a larger square of area Y inside a big circle. Find the ratio of X to Y. Let's take a look. Now, if any question to do with circles, it's all about the center of the circle. So here's my semicircle. Here is the center of the circle. And with anything to do with circles and squares or rectangles, always draw a line from the center to the vertices. Now form a right angled triangle. So they said that the area of this square is x. The area of a square is just the base times the height. So because they're the same, what times what gives you x? Well, it's root x, OK? So this triangle here, if I was to redraw it over here, this height of the square is root x. And this would be half of that, because this is root x. So this is root x over 2. And there's my right angle triangle. What's this length? Well, it's going from the center to the circumference. So that is r. OK, now let's do the same thing with the bigger uh, square. <laughs> I'm going to draw another length to the other vertex here. And again, I have a right angle triangle, right? This is r. And similarly, this length here is half of this full length. Because the area is y, one of its lengths is root y. This one here will be root y over 2. And the same thing over here. Yeah, so here we have this full length is y. Sorry, is root y. So this length here is root y. Half of that, root y over 2. So now that we have both of these triangles, what connects all these lengths? Pythagoras. So a squared plus b squared is 2 squared. So we have r squared is equal to this squared, which when you square that is just eggs. Plus, when you square this, you square the top and the bottom. Squaring that is just eggs over square of 2, 4. This is 1 plus a quarter, which is 5 over 4, eggs. And then over here, we have r squared is this squared, which is y over 4, plus another y over 4. A quarter plus a quarter is a half. Now, since they both represent r squared, these two things must be the same. And then we just times 2 by 4. If I times 3 by 4 to get rid of denominators, that cancels. We get 5 eggs is, what is that? 4 over 2, 2y. But that doesn't mean the ratio is 5 to 2. You have to be very careful here. If I sub in x is 1, what do we get for y? We would get 5 equals 2y. If 5 equals 2y, if you divide by 2, y is 2.5. So the ratio is 1 to 2.5. We don't like it like that, so we double everything. 2 to 5 is your answer, not 5 to 2. Noise.